Hello, I'm Andrew Gagan. In this week's edition of IG Macro Intelligence, we take a closer look at ASX listed iron ore stocks. The name of the game in iron ore is China. Spot iron ore prices have stabilised in recent months. The recovery reflects inventory restocking and improved demand as Chinese industrial production rebounds and after Beijing's stimulus to its property market. Globally, growth in steel production has been flat so far. However, the Australian Department of Industry, Science and Resources expects a gradual improvement in global industrial output. Iron ore remains Australia's top commodity export, while the June 2024 resources and energy quarterly forecast lower prices over the next two years. It is expecting volumes to increase by 2.3% a year. The next driver of the iron ore price could come from China's upcoming plenum, where Chinese authorities focus on deepening reforms and promoting the modernisation of the country. Investor hopes for further property sector stimulus remain high. CBA sees China's steel output tracking sideways, as weakness in the property sector is offset by infrastructure spending, leading to a stable iron ore price of about 100 to 110 US dollars a ton in the second half of 2024. Morgan Stanley expects relatively high stockpiles of iron ore to remain a headwind for prices of the steel ingredient over the next couple of months and has an average price forecast of US$120 a tonne. City is less positive on the commodity price, expecting volatility out of China's third plenum, with fundamentals suggesting downside risks. It's maintaining its three-month price forecast of US$95 a tonne based on muted steel demand, rising steel inventories and steel output controls reducing demand. While Australian miners are still generating cash, they have underperformed the ASX 200 over the past three months. So is there value in some of the iron ore miners given the outlook? Well, Goldman Sachs has a buy rating on BHP, despite expectations of reduced FY25 iron ore production. It points to valuation, superior margins and operating performance in the Pilbara iron ore producing region. Macquarie is neutral on the stock ahead of its quarterly production report expecting its iron ore performance will exceed consensus by 4%. Similarly, Goldman Sachs has a buy rating on Rio Tinto on valuation grounds, even as it's trimmed its 2025 iron ore shipments forecast slightly. Morgan Stanley lists Rio Tinto as one of its most preferred mining stocks, citing its low-cost assets and ability to sustain robust cash generation through the cycle. Goldman Sachs has a sell rating on Fortescue on reduced FY25 iron ore shipments, increased iron ore capex and expectations for reduced green capex. UBS has lowered Fortescue Metals price target 15% to $18.90 based on rolling forward estimates, iron ore prices and lower realisations. Morgan Stanley is underweight on Fortescue pointing to weaker iron ore prices beyond FY24 and the company's investment in growth putting pressure on free cash flow yields. And that is your IG Macro Intelligence for today. See you again next week.